So today is my first day back at school after spring break, which, I mean, it really wasn't even a long spring break. It was fucking three days because I only have school three days a week, but it still just sucks because I want to sit here and be lazy. I don't want to go do anything, but I have to. I mean, I really don't even have to go, but I, I probably should. I mean, I haven't really skipped much yet, so I might as well fucking go. But anyways, hey guys, wow, we got a game here today against Dude1991, aka Tom, aka one of my friends, I don't know, whatever. But uh, battle against him, uh, first 6th gen game against him, so that's fun. Uh, but anyways, team I brought, it's just basically... Uh, well, five out of six of them are just some of my favorite fucking guys to use. You know, the Infernape, the Jirachi, the Landorus, Greninja's one of my new favorites, Mega Venusaur I fucking love, and then Thunderous, I was like, yeah, let's just throw it on, it'll work. Um, anyway, Scarf Jirachi, CB8, Life Orb, Nasty Plot, Thunderous, Mega Venusaur, my Landorus, and a Life Orb Greninja. Uh, Tom's team, it's just a bunch of shit he wanted to use, but, I mean, there are some threats on his end. The main things I gotta watch out for is his Greninja, and, uh... His fucking Yen Mega, because if that speed boosts up too much, I'm gonna get fucked up by it. But I'd say to lead off Arachi. Looking at his team, it seemed like it would be a good idea. And he leads off with the uh, Yen Mega. I know after one speed boost, I'll still have to beat him because I'm choice scarfed. So I'll go for a fire punch right here to hit him, and then hopefully uh, I'll do something to him later. But it turns out he's actually specs because. Uh, first of all, it did a lot of fucking damage, and second of all, he did not have speed boost, so I know he's compound eyes, so I know he's gotta be specs from that. He brings in the Greninja, and I'm like, okay, I don't really know how much of use Jirachi is gonna be. It would be nice for the Greninja, but I do have options for the Greninja later, so I'll just stay in the Fire Punch, see what he's doing, and, uh, you know, get some more damage off. He just U-turns out into the Metagross, and, uh, he's gonna bullet punch me to revenge me, so that sucks, but, oh well, I'll get over it. Here I'm going to go to Landers, and I figured the prospect of an Earthquake should scare it out. Even though Metagross does have decent bulk, I should, be, you know, have a chance to Oko him if I was max attack, but I'm obviously not, as I've stated before. But whatever the case, I'm just going to get Rocks up, and, uh, you know, figured seemed like it would be a good idea at the time, because in case Yen Mega didn't come in, but he did anticipate the Rocks and win Yen Mega. And uh, here I knew I could take one hit and then hopefully kill him off with a knockoff, but he loses a goddamn 2 HP, and he's able to kill off my Landers. Which is fucking bullshit, but I'll get over it. But, uh, I mean, at the very least, since he doesn't have speed boost, I can go out to Infernape and just revenge him with whatever I want. I decided to revenge him with the U-turn, mainly for the fact that, uh, you know, he's at so low of health. It does give him switch initiative, but although I'd rather him have it than, uh, <clears throat> Infernape staying in locked in on some random fucking move. Or, you know, any other thing. I felt like U-turning and going out to Venusaur should be a good... Pokemon to have against really anything. I mean, if Metagross wants to come in, fine, whatever. But he goes into the uh, Absol, and I'm like, okay, um, I'm gonna Leech Seed because I'm a dumb fuck. I forgot about Magic Bounce because I, I don't care about Mega Absol. I really don't. And uh, he's able to get a free SD off, so I'm like, well, Venusaur is fucked. But it does nothing, and then I kill him with a Sludge Bomb. Goddamn Mega Venusaur just sitting there being awesome. <sighs> Fucker is amazing, let me tell you. But he brings in the Metagross. I figured the only thing he should really have to hit me with is Earthquake, so I'm just going to go for the Synthesis right here. And he actually carries his end headbutt, and that does take me out. And it kind of leads me to the suspicion that he is Choice Banded. It is a really risky thing for me to think, but I'm going to try and play off of that and go into Greninja and uh, try and scare him out with the prospect of a Dark Pulse, which I do, which does confirm that he is most likely Choice Banded, so I can work with that, which is awesome. I and mean, whatever, but I'm getting you turn out with Greninja because I figured you would switch out fearing that Dark Pulse, so I'm going to go into Thunderous right here against his, uh, thingy. Chestnut, yeah, Chestnut, um, and I figure, okay, he shouldn't have anything to really hit me, so I can take a turn to Nasty Plot up, and at the very least, if he doesn't bring in Greninja to revenge me, I can kill this thing off, uh, and then, you know, lure in the Greninja or let something else, or I can kill anything else on his team with that nasty plot. I mainly wanted it for the Metagross, so I'm able to take out the Chestnut right there. He brings in the Metagross right here in the hopes that he can live a hit, and, uh, unfortunately, I don't, that's really early for me to say, I'm bad. But, yeah, I'm able to take him out, which is unfortunate for him, so, yay, Life Orb Thunderous is amazing. But he brings in the Greninja now because he thought he wasn't going to outspeed the Thunders in the first place. And then here, he thought Water Shuriken was a special move. But, so he didn't invest in physical attack because, yeah, he, he, he thought, oh, I'm going to be cool and run Water Shuriken. But, 
I know, Water Shuriken would be amazing if it was special. Like, I'm pretty sure they didn't make it special for the fact that it would have been too good. But, I'm able to take him out. Um, even if he did the right move, I mean, honestly, I would have been able to revenge the Greninja, no problem. And then, uh, have another way to deal with the Avalug. But, just take out the Avalug right there with the Thunderbolt. Yeah, I had Greninja for the Avalug anyways, and Infernape to a lesser extent. Really, what it would have just been is mock Punch the Greninja to death, and then have my Greninja... Uh, revenge the Avalog or fucking figure it out somehow. But anyways, that is the game. So GG Tom. Uh, otherwise, besides the Greninja, otherwise it was a good game. It's just, yeah, fucking weird ass shit. But anyways, um, that'll be for this. Hopefully I'll get some more battles soon. I'm honestly going to have no time this week. So, and honestly, my semester is going to get a lot more busy now because we're filming our big film for the semester this weekend, which then I have to edit it. So, I don't know. We'll see what's going on. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such, blah. Recommend sub, and later, guys.